Right. Hello again, everyone. I'm I'm back to continue this Let's Play of Monster Hunter Try. So let's just move straight out. Exit to Murga Woods. If I remember right, Junior is out in the woods at the base camp of this map. Now, I could be wrong. I may have forgotten that where he is, but I'm pretty sure he's not on the farm. And I'm pretty sure he's not in the village, as the village is quite small. I've pretty much explored all of it already. Anyway, base camp being down there. Oh, here we go. Should be at the camp. Again, pause if you need to read it, but it's just, um... It's just basically a tutorial thing. I don't really need to know any of it. I'll take that out in case I accidentally use the waste stones. I know to attack, but sometimes I press the wrong buttons. Nice little cinematic feel there. Oh. Now he's telling me about my stamina gauge. Moving on. But yeah, the, the, basically the first few times you come out into here, it's just like small tutorials and stuff. Um, nothing too serious. It's nice to know about it, but now he's on about uh, plant munchers. Face the apt and often attack before it skedaddles. That leaf eater can't hurt you much. And again, he's just telling me about my health gauge. Now he's going to tell me about combat. X, R, A, press Y, yep. Yeah. Anyway, so, now, by the way, I'm using the classic controller, if you were wondering. I do have another character. Uh, I think I said that in the first video, I can't remember. He is male. And I apparently killed it. Uh, although my stamina gauge was much longer. Yeah, shut the fuck up. Anyway. Um, I should really not use foul language. Kids will be watching this, I hope. Anyway, um, I don't really care. Just take it to that son of mine. Yeah, tell me how to gather stuff. I think flow. Anyway, yeah. Uh, if I remember right, he's level 59 HR online. Got some fairly decent high rank stuff. Well, in my opinion, anyway. He's good enough for me. I, I, I can live with it, so... That's what I do. I live with it. Um, I won't worry about resources too much right now. I'm just going to move on and see Junior because that's the plan, you know? This is the base camp. And there's Junior. So, the objective here... Oh, here we go. Go up to Junior and say hi. So basically the main objective right now is to talk to him. I'm the chief's son. some like stuff y you have meat raw meat yay anyway <laughs> you're handed over one raw meat right so now, now that I've done that, basically all I can do is run back to camp, uh, run back to the village, even, and find out. Oh, here we go. Telling me how to get back to the village. Again, it's good info to, for people who've never played it, obviously, but 
I could easily just skip through all this. I'm just leaving the text on for people to read if they really care for it. Sometimes there's got they've got a few small comical lines and such, but it's quite rare that they do. <clears throat> but this character, for now, for all I can, all intents and purposes, if I'm saying that right, I'm sorry if I've got my words wrong, is going to be purely offline. Uh, I may go online at some point, but it will more than likely be when I get stuck on the offline missions. Close that, because if I, say, get up to the Agnactar missions and Oregon missions with this and keep going with it, I'm more than likely going to get my face pounded in by them. So I'm going to have to end up going online to get decent parts from creatures like Lagiacris or, as an example. To be able to face off against them. My weapon of choice is pretty much the lance or longsword, but I'm not going to get the longsword for a while, and I don't know about the lance. Just staying quiet while I'm we go for this. Like that. Right. Go to hunt res hunt report and get one resource for the Aptonoff. No items, but villager requests. We need 30 resources to open up quests. Now, the only way I'm going to get resources is by going back into the forest and killing stuff and harvesting stuff. Now I've got to find the village chief. Right, we just got another thousand gold. Now, if I'd have remembered this, I'd have saved my initial gold and bought full alloy now, as speed sharpener would be useful later on. The guildy, right here, will not give me quests until I go and fix the thing. The base camp. Right now, I've got no real way of doing it. I can talk to this woman again, actually. Outfit, whatever. Buy, weapons. Now, it totally depends now on the way you want to play the game. If you can earn a bit more money, you can obviously get what you want. Bow gunning is one of the things I'm not going to do. But if you end up getting the game and decide to use bow guns. I recommend you use them from the beginning. The worst offline so I've heard. I've not really tried them properly though. But if you can get used to bow guns very early on, then you'll be very good with them online. And if you go online with a bow gun, you'll be very much appreciated, especially if you can help sleep big creatures later on, like... I don't know. I'm trying to think of an example, like if you can sleep in Uragan with your crossbow so people can bombard it, that'd be very nice for them. But for now I'm going to stick with a greatsword, I'm not going to buy anything else because there's not much point. Um, I've not got long left on this video, I'll quickly talk to him. Forging equipment. Right, basically, um, I'll explain this real quick. He makes weapons and armor for, armors for you, and if you get the stuff, you can get decorations as well, which makes you do stuff better, but you have to swap them into your armor. But anyway, that's all the time I've got for this one, as I'm nearly out of time, so I shall see you next time.